Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Gather a Hunter. Today we're out at Turner Gully Pistachios and we're going to be talking to our good friend Ross. Pleased to see you mate. Good on you Glenn. And Leanne from Cheeky Cow Project. So Leanne and myself, we're going to do a collab product together. Um, so super excited yeah. about that. Leanne, what are we going to be doing? Something with chocolate. And granola, so can't really go Watch wrong, right? Watch this space, yeah. But then Ross, he's got a very secret ingredient for us, which is... Kwandong. So what is the Kwandong, Ross? Kwandong is a native peach. The Aboriginals have known about them for, I guess, thousands of years. And uh, we're growing some just down in the paddock. Perfect. So very unique taste, grows really well in this area. So should we go and have a look? Let's do it. Done. All right, Ross, so how did you end up growing Kwangdongs out here and why? Well, it was pretty much an accident, Glenn. Yep. <laughs> we, we bought the place to plant the pistachio plantation, which yep. is up there. Yeah. And this paddock was basically bare and running with salt water when we came here. Right. Because the water table had come up. Yeah. So we planted some of these golden wreath wattles, yep. the ones that are in flower. Yeah. It's Acacia saligna. Yep. And that dropped the water table. And then we started planting more... Uh, trees to try and recover the land and we thought well if we plant the right sort of hosts <clears throat> we can plant sandalwood yep so the sandalwood all came up quite well we can see some of them around here yeah and then i realized that kwandongs are very closely related to sandalwood they're much harder to grow yeah so this little part of the paddock is now kwandong yep all the rest of it's sandalwood okay all, all because of a mistake effectively yep. yeah so here we have a a Kwandong tree. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, another one over here. Now the process is is basically, I come around every couple of days when it's uh, it's the right time, and yeah. if it's good ones on the ground, I pick them up, and then I give the tree a bit of a shake oh, right. to see All if right. any right ones come off. Oh, yeah. right. oh I like this harvesting oh, method. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we. I take them home, yeah, and then the good ones we dry, okay, cool. air dry, yeah, and the t taste is very acid. Oh yeah, mm. full of vitamin C. Some good and, bite though, yeah, and make a nice jam, <clears throat> amongst oh, other yeah. things. Yeah, 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 yeah. The other species I've got here is, uh, as I mentioned, Acacia microbotria, which produces good wattle seed, and a rock she oak, which also produces good timber. So. As well as producing sandalwood, yep. kwandong, potentially we've got some timber products as well oh, yeah. and some wattle wow. seed products. So super sustainable out of a salt plane basically. Yep. And the best thing of all, I do almost nothing. I don't fertilise, yep. I don't spray, I don't water. Yep. It just looks after itself because it's, it's plants that uh, yep. evolve to live in this, yep. this sort of climate. So Perfect. compared to the amount of effort I put into the pistachios. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Leanne, this is a sandalwood tree and it's wow. oh, amazing. Uh, the sandalwood nut is uh, easy to get into because the the shell is a lot softer than the condong nut if you want to crack one glenn you can oh yeah get the taste green. yeah you want to hold this one okay, yep. <laughs> i'll do some cracking do some caveman cracking well when i get them they're already cracked so i'm glad i don't <laughs> have to i don't i'm glad i don't have to crack them like this in the kitchen wow there we go mm. nice soft texture yeah. Um, mm, fresh, amazing. They're so good, fresh. Um, also, pretty high. I've heard quite high in nutrients as well. Yeah, they've got yes. all sorts of oils and things in them. And with the number of plantations that have been planted over the years in in Western Australia, there's going to be a quite a big crop of sandalwood nuts available. Well, I mean, we can't find enough of them, so you know, I'm glad that we found another yeah. few trees. <laughs> Do you want to have a crack? All right. Literally. Literally have a crack. <laughs> okay, here we go. This big rock. Oh yeah, oh. crack. All right, Ross. So pick some fruit. We've got the kwangdongs and the sandalwood nuts now. Uh, now what happens next? Well, for the kwangdongs, we uh, split them open, take the nut out. Yeah. And then we air dry the uh, flesh until they're you know, very dry. So yep. you can, they'll last a long time. Yep. And then some of them we put into a blender and turn into powder. Okay, cool. So that's probably how we'll use them, eh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. 
concentrated flavor. Yum. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ross, thanks heaps for having us. It's been an absolute pleasure. Leanne and myself, we're going to yeah. brainstorm a few ideas and um, yeah, we'll see what we can come up with, eh? Yeah, see how we can use your amazing produce. Well, I'm looking forward to the results. <laughs> yes, no worries. Yep. It should be delicious. Good Thank you. you. Thank you so much. No worries. All right, Leanne, I'm a massive fan of your chocolate. Yeah. I remember your first market back at Subi. I was like, ooh, what's this? <laughs> um, and we've been friends ever since that. Um, yeah. I've eaten so many bars. I mean, I've got a few favorites of yours, but uh, yeah, super excited for this combo. We've just laid out some of the um, sandalwood nut granola, Kwangdong granola mm. that I've made in the kitchen just yesterday. Got some of your chocolate here. Yep. A um, little bit of the powder. So I'm thinking, those flavors are going to work really well together. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I want to try it. Yeah, let's so give it a try. And what see what we, we can. Yeah. yeah. So this is a dark chocolate. We've got some here that's literally been melted <laughs> on the rock. On the rock. So that's perfect. It's like fondue. But... So we've tempered it out in the sun. So we've got some <laughs> of that um, Kwang Dong powder. <laughs> Special method of tempering. <laughs> so look at that already. I mean, that's got some pretty that cool pretty. textures, right? So, and then we've got some of this sandalwood nut <laughs> granola to go in there. Right. We should put some other chocolate on the top and you'll make a sandwich. Yeah, sandwich. <laughs> put All some right. sauce on top of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a bit of chilli sauce. I can let it go alright, a bit of ch chilli sauce. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> That's so good. So Winner. many different textures. That real sour punch mm. comes out of that Kwang Dong. Um, and that bitterness in the chocolate. Yeah. And because it's tempered on a rock, I'm going to do you one. <laughs> Oh my god. And that, yeah, that, the Kwang Dong oh. just, I mean, when you still are only sprinkle a little bit on there, but that has Powerful so flavor. much punch. Like, mm. I just imagine the superfood benefits of yeah. like dark chocolate, really good for your heart, oh, mate. antioxidant, <laughs> bit of vitamin C. Next level, eh? <laughs> so, yeah, we, we need to get some good of that. fats from the coconut. You can have a whole Kwang Dong on top. <laughs> Oh wow. That's really good. That's delicious. That's delicious. I think we're sitting on Well, we literally oh have God. created a new dish out in <laughs> I mean how far away from town are we like? About an hour and a bit. Yeah, good hour and a half up somewhere in the remote bush. Ryan. Look at that. That's oh a... the sour is so good <laughs> with the chocolate. Punch. So good. Oh, it's so good. And then the coconut. It's really good. It's really good. That's going to be so good. <laughs> I know, right? All right, Leanne, we're going to meet back yeah. in the production kitchen in a couple of days. <laughs> Temper it properly. And, yeah, to actually do some proper tempering here. Uh, but we, I think we've basically come up with, yeah, a, new with, a, yeah, new... with a new product. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching, guys. And stay tuned for another episode in the next couple of weeks, hey? Awesome. Thank <laughs> you.